everybody welcome back to my channel lady of huntington i'm about to do some ironing now i don't normally iron i don't know if you guys are like me and you pretty much get your clothes off the line or out of the dryer and then you fold them up and put them away well that's what i normally do however my aprons are needing an iron our ironing board is one of these cupboard ones so you've got light you've got your um your plug in there so you plug your iron in there you can put your timer on that way if you walk away and forget about it it will actually turn your iron off and the light off so i'm going to be ironing my aprons and again i had a big mess to untangle so i tried to set you up and i can't find anywhere that i can set you up but i'm going to have a little bit of a look because i thought it might actually be more fun ironing when i'm talking to you so let me see if i can find somewhere else to pop you okay so i kind of have you set up so let's see if i can actually manage to do this without you bumping and sending you flying um because you're on my tripod however you're in my cupboard where my iron, like my ironing board cupboard. So I'm just hoping that I'm not going to knock you because you're actually sitting scoo-whiffed <laughs> on two legs and one leg kind of up in the air. Doing a bit of a balancing act. That's the only way I could kind of get you sitting in a position in which you could actually see what I was ironing. Now... I don't know, as I say, if you like me and you like ironing, great. We can have, um, yeah, more, more ironing time. <laughs> but um, if you do like this, um, it might be something more, which will actually entice me to do some ironing, not only my aprons. So I'm going to be doing some baking and we're going to be making some danishes. So the danishes... Um, will need let me pop this on keep them too close um we'll need to it takes kind of two days really to make these danishes and that's only because the pastry when i make it you've got to let it sit in the fridge overnight so i'll make one and pop it in the fridge i don't know if you just moved then <laughs> um and i will make one with you oh! see you did all oh. I didn't know how long you were going to last there. Um, it's, um, I tried to put you in the cupboard <laughs> and um, that didn't work either. So look, I've got a bit of a stain there. You can see I've actually done some cooking with it. Um, so where was I? Cooking with our danishes, yes. And then we're going to um, make the custard bean cream patisserie and that is just to die for. Now, my auntie actually taught me how to make these. Um, she is a wonderful chef, cook, or she, you know, she's not a chef, she's a home cook, but actually would put a lot of <laughs> chefs out there to, to shame. She actually went over, this is how much she enjoys cooking, went on a trip and went to Paris and France and all of those places and um, specifically went over there to do some cooking classes some baking classes whatever you want to call them i can't seem to get that open um and then came back and taught us how to actually make them so she's tasted the best being um from danishes obviously over in france and paris and, and whatnot and came back and taught us how to make the danishes and also macarons our ancestry is my nan is French, so it's quite fitting. <laughs> so uh, these are to die for. They're not like the pre-bought ones you buy in, the pre-bought ones, the pre-made ones that you actually buy in um, some bakeries and things like that. These are, I don't know how to describe them. They are beautiful. One is not enough. <laughs> and... Um, Yes, I think I think you'll probably enjoy them as much as what we do. Let me try and get this other one done. Out here, I've got what is it, four or five aprons to do. So I don't know if I'm going to bring you along with all of that. I might run out of things to tell you, and you might be really, really bored. Um, but anyhow, 
my um we had fun last weekend i don't know if i've told you or not um with my ms my my walking is getting a lot more difficult um i can't walk very far so we decided oh and there you go again can you just sit up there <laughs> um we decided to go and buy a couple of scooters we actually purchased two um one that i can have more at home it's a bigger one and one that can actually fold up and will go in the car so i can take it to the shops and things like that and i tell you what it was amazing I, at first when i first um needed to start using a walking stick and things like that i i refused to because oh i didn't do that one because i didn't want people to feel sorry for me i didn't want to feel like i was defeated by ms or anything like that so i there you go again so i um I, I would just kind of put up with how i was walking and the pain in which you know i i was having when walking which actually made me stay at home more often than not and which has, you know, helped to, you know, me becoming a bit of a recluse. So you guys are a little bit of a, um, an outlet for me, um, because I don't, I, I'm very much, I like, I'm kind of in my bubble. So I don't have a lot of people up here or anything like that. We do live about an hour from town, um, and a lot of people think it's too far to come, which I understand. But as I've said before, you kind of lose a lot of friends when you um, have your MS as well. Um, or, you know, you probably know if you've got chronic illnesses and things like that, you probably understand what I'm saying. So I, I kind of live in my bubble. <laughs> and having you guys to talk to is a nice little outlet for me. I actually feel like I have friends out there. It doesn't matter that, you know, I, I see you on your youtube channels and things like that um it's just yeah i don't know how to explain it <laughs> it's um it's just nice for me to be able to i guess you know kind of interact with you all in in some degree whether it's me standing here you know and doing a bit of ironing and talking to you all and and whatnot you know there was a time when Gosh, I wish I could go back to when I was a teenager because, you know, I used to think I was fat. <laughs> I look back at the photos. My God, I was not fat. Um, I played a lot of sports competitively. I played um, tennis, indoor cricket and softball all at state level. And to be able to now not do the things as simple as walking, um, you know, over to feed my chooks, for instance, um, is really, really tough. Um, when something's taken away from you and you actually can't do it any longer. So this scooter, um, whether it be the one I take out and about and is a little bit easier to manoeuvre um, through shops and things like that and a little bit smaller or the one that I have at home to help me get around here is going to be an ex a real blessing. Um, so, yeah, so I, I actually, when we when we brought them my husband had to go to Bunnings and we actually have a van I brought the van to be able to take my cats and my animals around to cat shows and, and vets and things like that um, and it's all sign got sign writing all over it, perfection show pets and and whatnot so it's a little bit embarrassing for anyone else to drive um, but my husband um, said let me um, get the scooter out I was in the back of the car and he had to go to Bunnings and he said you can have a go and so of course here I was going through Bunnings for the very first time getting on this scooter feeling really quite intimidated um, you know but how people might see it and things like that um, and ha how well I was going to drive it ride it whatever you want to call it um, but I tell you what people seem to have a totally different look i had you know a gentleman come up and say you know is there something that i can help you with um and going out of his way to actually come to me which was lovely and you know i said well thank you but no i'm just actually looking another lady was so apologetic because i just waited patiently for her to have a look on before i could get past because 
some of the uh, you know in Bunnings some of the things were in the way and how the things were sticking out and I just waited patiently she said oh goodness sorry uh, you know I would have moved had you you know you only had to say I said that's okay look this is my first time I'm just learning this she laughed and um, then another gentleman was my husband said oh you just um you're just in the way of this gentleman he was behind me and I couldn't see him and I said oh I'm really really sorry my husband being my husband a bit witty like I used to be um turn around and goes no she's not she's not sorry really I was like oh my goodness I am I'm so so sorry and the gentleman just laughed and I kind of explained to him my first time um you know just trying this out and he's like yeah, you're doing really well so it was really nice that you know people didn't actually kind of look upon you and think oh you know why are you on that sort of thing you know because it's an invisible illness um I, I kind of think that some people must think, well, you're just lazy or what. But um, kind of getting over that, <laughs> you know, I need to do what's right for me and worry about me and not what everybody else may think because what they're thinking is probably not what I'm thinking they're thinking at all. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's really quite interesting. But um, anyhow, um, as I said to one lady, <laughs> you know, Nana's got wheels. Look out. I can um, go off and do some things and with my granddaughter that you know was you know things that watch her to be able to watching her do things that I would normally love to be able to go and do and knowing that I was going to you know not oops untwist not be able to do the things as well as I would like to so you know kind of say no or feel like I'm going to be um holding people up and things like that so now I can go yes Nana's coming which will be really really nice so anyway getting these these aprons done here and chatting away to you and you're probably thinking I really don't want to watch you do ironing and that's fine you don't have to there are plenty of other, other videos that you can go along and watch and see people do whatever or learn about different things and and whatnot but um well oh, my frugality's kind of gone out the window these last week or so or maybe two weeks i haven't been doing so well to be honest i've got um a few orders of my planners and things like that that you will have seen um <laughs> Not that we can't afford to buy them by any means, but just trying to live a more frugal life. So when I go down to the post office, my friend actually owns the post office. She goes, where's our frugality gone? <laughs> I'm like, oh, oops, <laughs> shush, don't tell anyone. Um, so that's a little bit amusing, but I will get back onto that. I mean, I'm still doing my baking and things like that from scratch and all of those things. Um, I enjoy all of that. I haven't been showing you guys as much baking of late because to be honest my I like to bake and I like to have my aprons on when I bake and they were in a big mess again I put them all in you know I didn't learn by the last time obviously put them all into the, the washing machine again and they all come out a tangled mess so trying to do everything it doesn't always work um, I'm gonna have to cut these tags off I think they're annoying um so yeah let me know in the comments below do you guys iron everything or are you like me you just iron what you have to what do you enjoy ironing some people probably do i um think of my friend who owns the post office her um, didn't i do that one? Oh my goodness i thought i did um her mum used to do all of her ironing for her and she used to do it at the post office so every time now that i do ironing I think of my mum's friend, my mum's friend. I think of my friend's mum. She was a lovely lady, um, absolutely de delight, always happy and bubbly. Such a sweet lady. Um, so I always think of her when I iron now. But um, as I said, I don't iron all the time. So, oh, and there you go again. Anyhow, we might leave it there because I've done a fair, I've done two aprons, I've got two more to go. And then we'll do some cooking and I will talk to you all soon. Where's my losing my ah, this way? I keep losing my point of where I should be looking when I'm doing these videos with it sitting the opposite way to what I normally have it sitting. 
Any, here we go again. Anyhow, guys, have a great day. I shall talk to you in a little bit when we do our cooking.